Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome to my stream. So today, as you might probably know, I will be doing Snark News Summer Series 2020 Round 1. Um, so basically what I'm going to do as usual is I will take part in the contest, I will just do it on stream. It is 80 minutes long and hopefully I do well after, and after that we can discuss the problems here. Um, yeah, I will definitely post this on YouTube afterwards. Uh, thanks to said soldier. Uh, translation in English is not correct. Well, yeah, I, I, I will try to do, I will try to read problems in English and And then, yeah, even if it's not correct, I mean, maybe I will struggle, but anyway, I will try to read the problems correctly. And anyway, even if, I mean, maybe I will resort to reading Russian, but anyway, so it starts hopefully very soon, maybe in a couple of minutes. Yeah, the test cases are bad. 11, yeah, 11 is a meme, but I, I, I will probably copy the test cases from the Russian statements, but anyway, uh, hopefully it doesn't influence me too much. And yeah, so I guess we can go. I have registered. And you can see that some things have improved from the last time. This time I have a much better camera angle. Uh, is yeah, the sound may be not so great, but is it actually wrong, or can you hear me well? Hopefully you can still hear me, but maybe it's not too great. Maybe it's not too quality, but yeah. Anyway, so the camera angle is improved, but I still use XPS 13, so I just use uh, a different camera. Mm. So you won't be able to see my fingers this time. I'm not sure if it's good or bad, but you tell me. So, yes, I will upload this to you on YouTube. Um, background is a bit disturbing. Well, sorry about that, but probably I won't be able to do anything about it right now anyway. So, yeah, I guess I will just start in half a minute. In the bottom right, you will be able to see the letters, what, which problems I have solved. And yeah, okay, without further ado, let's just start in 15 seconds. And feel free to discuss problems. Yes, I will discuss, I will explain the solutions at the end. Okay, let's go. And I won't be reading the chat during the contest, so you feel free to discuss what is going on here. 
and and yeah okay this one is short right and don't only five okay uh yeah it's a bit boring but anyway it's kind of standard I guess just case analysis should be fine. Uh, okay. A is equal to zero here, and then we have B, and we can take some E's with it. And then that can take C, and then we take some D's with it. And Then we can take some E's with it. And now... Yeah, probably I could just do something different. Anyway. How to do this part? I have two two one two one 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 you have to be careful Might be correct. Thirty. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should actually copy, but this looks correct. So I guess I'm fine. Why is it so slow? Okay, four. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Two. Sorry, looks correct. Um, okay. Open submissions only. No time. Blind submissions not allowed. Okay, everyone sold B. Well, sure. All right. Um, so, I'm sure of this problem. Oh.
<laughs> okay, five. All right. Um, okay, whatever. Some curves. Some geometry. Okay. Nice numbers. Okay. It doesn't look good. Why? So we multiply by x and x minus 1. Why do we have two zeros here? Is it about Russian state? Okay, let's check. Okay, someone solved A, sure. I should read it. Our old fr old friend eleven. Okay, I'm not sure. It's not so easy to read English statements. This one looks kind of not great. Hopefully the constraints are correct. Yeah, okay. Yes. This is just matching. Basically, in the statement, it's written that we have to make matching. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. 
Okay, it's already sorted. So, um, okay, and we use our magic word. Mm-hmm. Hopefully this is fast enough. Some unnecessary checks and um. Go. Belle. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't really understand. I understand problem A. Okay, so I suppose you have to pick a... Uh, yes. Second problem. Okay. So I suppose... You have to pick... A corner, and then... You want to find... A point, which is as close as possible, so it's independent on x and y, right? And then... Hmm... And then we want to find the point which is as close as possible. Yeah, okay, so we have some kind of So, oh, actually, you can even do it. Like the limit is small, right? Whatever. And
Okay, so probably not the easiest way, but we can find it. For each coordinate, what can we find? It's decreasing, increasing, increasing, increasing. No. Mm. Let's say that after this one, yeah, okay. Um, um, I guess this should be correct. Let's see. Twelve, okay. Promising. Eleven. Let's try it out. Uh, right. What's this problem? Yes. Why am I named like this? Used to be. Okay, I guess I know why. Anyway, should be fine. As long as I know that's me. Okay. Don't get it at all. Why? This is what? Negative fifty, negative forty eight, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's substitution, it's not multiplication. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking. What? Okay. 
Okay, so let's just substitute this into this polynomial and output coefficients. Okay. Should be easy, right? Some more magic word, magic words. Um, Point of several coefficients. None. Okay. Um, what do I do here? I multiply this by inverse factorial. I guess inverse factorial times cur and cur. K and then might be correct. Um, okay. Definitely not correct. Maybe this? Probably not. I mean, yeah, it's, it's bad. Um, Okay, he solved E. Makes sense. Um, how do I not have paper? Okay, I do have paper. Um, Yeah, I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I'm just doing something random. It's very different from what I should be doing. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I guess you should be doing this problem anyway. So it's x minus x plus, plus a power m I mean, I have to substitute, right? I mean, okay. So I have x plus m a of m. Can't really figure it out. Yeah, I think. Maybe something like this. Okay. Okay. And maybe <laughs> much better, but not enough. Yeah, I guess this way, because if this the sample it will be correct. Yeah. Right. Right, right, right. Outline of the fence forms a simple polygon. Good. Two problems to go. Um, case, case smallest. I wish this problem contained the word convex, but apparently it doesn't. So it's not very pleasant. Okay, zero submissions on both. Uh, I. What? What? What's up with those dots also? <laughs> Um, market value and its face value. 
Market value and par. What's what's that? Um, Okay. So I guess, I guess this, this is one six and this is one five. And this is like this, and I guess that we have two values and we can change one and then we want to find the minimum of maximums of these two values. I think I think that's what the problem is asking. Um, okay. Um, how can you do this? Seven seconds and hundred thousand. Yeah, okay, uh, constraints are correct, this was correct. Mm -hmm. Well, time limit is huge and constraints are not that huge, so maybe some square root, square root stuff. Hmm. Some decomposition. I don't really like it. And X. This problem is just disgusting, kind of. Well, I guess not really, so it's 25, just 25, yeah, but still. But how do they even do that in this problem? It's not like it's even easy to just do some DP, well.
working. So we add something to a segment. I guess you just have to do it. Just split the array into blocks of square root size. And then so every position so if we add something negative its value doesn't change and then its value increases by one we want to find the maximum of two yeah okay it's not that bad I guess. I guess I just have to do it. Hmm. Okay, that's a long, long. Usually I dislike doing it like this, but maybe it's fine. Mm. Okay, correct submission on D. Sure. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, I want to find max no mean value. Okay. 
okay this is not doesn't make too much sense but anyway Also, I guess Too many capital letters, kinda. No, I I'm not doing well. like it but yeah mean of answer and something a l B L I guess just simple as that. Oh and also yeah, I guess I want like this. And like this. Yeah, here. Here we can do it. And yeah, I have I have this block. Mm. Wait. Yeah, I want the minimum of these functions. Oh no. Ah, is it all bad? Yeah, I think I cannot do it that easily. Really sad. I want to solve it. Okay. But how do I do that? Hmm. I guess still something like that, but not. 
it's not pleasant anymore. And this and then yeah I really want the minimum of these functions awful awful How do this? Even. Do I really have to sort inside and do all that stuff? But why? No, 14 minutes. I mean... Whatever.
Okay. So in each block, I have some value here. Um, I mean, what? Okay, I can have this. I kind of have to do it. But it's not easy here. Yeah, this is all wrong. Positions. Just why? Well, well, well. 
No. Oh no, 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 it's just so bad. Wow. I don't like this at all. Should I do some end square? Just brute force. Well, probably not easy. But maybe doable. And I don't really get how this problem can be you know, like solvable. 25 points, right? Not too many. But how do I just try all possible? Like, how? All possible how? Is it even doable? Well, well, well. I don't know. Brute force? Like it just can be whatever. No, I was just so bad, but D, I mean. Okay, maybe let's focus. Let's try. So we have some points. We want to sort them. We want to find.
Hey, we just need to find all the like yes. Yes, I think. Maybe it's uh, kind of easy. So I just have points. Each point is like this. I sort points. Wait. Don't forget to do this. Is this correct? No, it's not correct, right? So I have to do some stack. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> mm. yeah, just once. And also, I think like this. And I want minimum. Right, right. Twelve minutes, sure. Sure. No minus one. Yeah, maybe something like this. Um, and then 
here I have to modify so basically I do something similar but maybe easier um, okay so I push block and then I add something to each position I add something to each position and here I just Oh, yeah, it's not just, mm -hmm. why, why do I have push? I have to pull as well. Yeah, so here I pull. And I want to pull only when delta is zero. And here I push. And let's say I don't want to do anything here. Okay. So here I actually want to pull. Here I want to push, I want to push here, and I don't want to push here, right? And here. But I do want to push. Oh, so I have to pull afterwards anyway. Kind of. Okay, hopefully I don't get time limit exceeded, but it's quite likely, I would say. Come on. Um, Alright, and here I just do this. And hope for the best. Ten minutes. Okay. Blind submission maybe. I can test this. I, I should test this probably. Yeah, not even close. Okay. I have something to test. Okay, nine. Okay. So block is two. Okay, pull block here. So I get where this 9 comes from. I'm not sure about this. Hmm. Okay, so it's just minus four, six. No, okay, 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 okay. I guess the point, wait. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I think I should submit blind. If I ever do submit. 6935k. Um, sure. Stupid CPP time.
wait wow well, okay interesting bug my computer is a bit lagging mm. a bit overloaded maybe well anyway it should not stop me Probably don't want this large. Five minutes. What? Is this test not valid? What? It looks like it. What? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I don't like this kind of box, but yeah. Sometimes I do them. Wow, my computer is so annoyed. This is so slow. Wow. Stop. Delta is not zero. How is it so? I always do push and then pull, right? So, so why would it not be zero? 
Oh, okay, 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 okay. Please be correct. Okay, it is correct. Maybe. Uh, I do, I want, wait, 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 I want larger blocks, right? No. The real blind submission. <laughs> totally blind. Yes, that's how we do it. Oh my God. Easy, easy win. Oh, wow. I think my computer was not lagging that much before, but now it's just so overloaded. Yeah. Not cool. I guess I can close this. <laughs> it's kind of late, but you know. Yeah, okay. Kind of last second. How how much how much time was it? Like 5 seconds. Okay. Sorry. 300 IQ. Sorry, Ildar, but yeah, but you tried F. Okay, what, what did I miss in the chat? I guess nothing for now. Yeah, okay. You solved F on 1 2016, wow. <laughs> Sorry, that, that's, that's actually so unlucky, how, how, but I, I, I just know no idea how to solve F. Is it brute force or what? Okay. I, I, I just don't see any DP ideas. Yeah, you should start with the convex hull, then you can like cut out triangles. Yeah, add one point to the smallest answer and check if it's a correct polygon, right? Yeah, so, so, so okay, okay, okay. So you just try to add one point in every possible way and check that the polygon is simple, right? Yeah, okay. Sure. Maybe nice. Oof. Yeah, that was tough anyway. Actually, Kevin can beat me now. Still. But this problem is probably not of Kevin's style. 
Okay, so also D, is D uh, any sec3 bits? <laughs> because, like, yeah, so one idea is segment 3 bits, which I like not very familiar enough to be honest, and then, yeah, another idea is definitely just brute force. Yeah. You, okay. So, so you, you did just square root because, like, it's so awful to me. It looks so awful. I, I, I just, I just don't like the square roots. I mean, maybe you can do it easier, but well, this is not too bad, right? But still, whatever. Um. Yeah. Can someone watch my stream to cheat in contest? Yes. E was cool. What was E? E? E is weird. But maybe cool. Yeah, problem E statement is like, I don't know why. Because you see, like when you see this line, when I looked at its right right hand part, video is lagging, is it actually? Okay, sure, so. So yeah, when I, when I looked at this part, I was so sure that it's like the polynomial fk multiplied by the polynomial x minus wk plus 1. But then if you look at this x, if there was no x here, if there was no like substitution here, then it would be multiplication for sure. But... But here, it's substitution. And but but why do you do like what's the point of doing m substitutions in a row? Because it's just the same as one substitution. Just add all the coefficients. So yeah, that that's just weird. <laughs> yeah, this is this is actually meme. Nine nine five. Why why are nine and five so like yeah also this? Why are nine and five so different from other digits? Like this one, five nine. Uh, Google Translate, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Eleven, eleven is yeah, eleven is the god. Nine five. So we know that some digits are like. Oh, this these are not digits. Also thirty. So twenty is not worth translating, but thirty is worth translating. Why? Uh, I have not used either code blocks or dev C++, so I I'm not in a position to choose one of those. Okay, so F is in problem B. It concatenates. No, in problem B it's fine. In B there is no con yeah. In some problems there is concatenation. Yeah, one space 5 is 15 but yeah whatever so f is as we discussed kind of in the chat so f is find the k smallest perimeter of a polygon which contains all the given points and have, has some of them in in vertices only so yeah i guess the solution is just uh, get the Convex hull, that's the first polygon, obviously, that's the smallest one. And then you can prove, I guess you actually can, but you don't actually do that during the contest, I suppose, that uh, you just try to add one point to the border. You just pick every point, try to add it. And then the rest is just implementation. Yeah, but I didn't even have this idea, but even if I had it, it would not be, it's not like nice to implement, right? 
So you have to to check if the polygon is not not self intersecting. So you have to well, maybe it's fine. Just take the pairs of segments and check them. But yeah. So this problem is reasonable. But I definitely had no time. So problem E is uh, substitute m times, which, is make, which just makes no sense. And then you want to like to transform the polynomial to substitute the given stuff. So my solution was, I guess I can describe it quickly. Uh, notepad to the rescue. Okay, okay. So I have some kind of polynomial, which is a0 plus a1 times x plus a2 times x squared plus and so on, plus a n times x to the power of n. And I want to find f of x plus k. Yeah, not by this gorgeous, I agree. Um, and the solution is to realize that if we, if I just substitute this, what I get is well just x plus k everywhere instead of x. Okay, this is too long, but I can fix it. Also, yeah. Okay, so I have this. And now I want to just uh, open up the binomial here and just sum all, like, accumulate all coefficients with the same power. And how do I do that? Uh, basically, if you consider ai times x plus k to the power of i is the sum of j from 0 to i x to the power of, well, it's a i still, uh, x to the power of j times choose j from i. Which is uh, uh, choose j from i is Is this right? Yeah. And now, if I want to find the sum of this from zero to n, well, okay, I can just keep this line intact, and then I want to write this line, and I can open each bracket and then regroup the coefficients so i will actually have for each j from 0 to n for each uh, x to the power of j times for each i from j to n um, it will be ai times i factorial divided by j factorial divided by i minus j factorial right yeah i think that's what i get and now it's kind of a usual trick. So the trick is to... We have some coefficients. We have something which depends on i, something which depends on j, something which depends on i minus j. And those are all independent. So I just want to multiply some two polynomials, which will give me the answer. Like the product will give me the answer. Um, and one polynomial will be
AI times I factorial times sum of I from 0 to N. And here I actually want something like negative I probably, which is a bit weird, but I want to reverse that polynomial. And the second polynomial is, let's say for, well, it's kind of T. Well, T stands for I minus J here, I guess. One divided by T factorial. And if I just multiply these polynomials, Well, I mean, whatever. I guess I can write it like 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 this. I can also check with my code just to make sure because it's not easy to just keep the coefficients correct, but in general, I just show the idea. So the idea is that one polynomial is definitely like this. This is just the reversed first polynomial times factorials. This is what I have here, it's A. The second polynomial is, uh, yeah, it's not just one, but it's also K. Oh, I also for forgot K here. It should be K times, I, K, K to the power of I minus J, of course. All, 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 all in all the places here. And k is the this coefficient which we want to substitute. So that's the second polynomial. And if I multiply them, and then I multiply the coefficient of the answer by the inverse factorial of j, I will get the coefficient of x to the power of j. Something like that. Yeah, power of k, right. Oh, hello, Igor. So Igor says that he, <laughs> his D also passed five minutes too late. Yeah, I, I was close to not getting my my D at all. But yeah, I was a bit lagging. Okay, so that's like the, basically the solution. I guess I can save it here for the history. Okay. Um, right. So C is kind of, there's not much to explain problem C. We have, uh, we have pairs of words. We want to pick a non-empty prefix of one word, non-empty prefix of the other word. And we want to merge them and we want all the strings to be different. And the solution, oh yeah, this, it, it was merged, but it's incorrect. It's actually B space E. Yeah. And basically it's just, since we have 100 word, pairs of words and we have the length is at most 10, we have at most 10,000 different abbreviations. And we can just generate them all and just do a maximum matching. Like here, just generate all the abbreviations, put them into a set so that they are all distinct now. This is not the most efficient implementation, but still fine. And then I build the graph, I have my own matching code prepared, but in general, like, I used to just type it, and, um, yeah, until a lot of time I didn't have any, anything I, I actually copied, maybe just a couple of things, but yeah, it's a long story anyway. Uh, anyway, so basically I just build the graph and then I find the matching and then just output it. So nothing too interesting. B is the easiest problem. We have parts of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We just too greedy. We just put all the five parts first. We just put all fours possibly with ones if we can. Then we just use all threes possibly with twos. And then we use 2, 2, 1 while we can, and after that we do 2, 1, 1, 1, or 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And that's just easy to see that with 5 it's the optimal thing, but I think it, if it was at least 6, 
if we had some part of six and we could also carry capacity of six, it would not be that easy, maybe. Because when you have three, threes, two and twos and ones, it's not obvious how to connect them. So probably some greedy also exists, but it's not that easy. Um, and A, so on problem A, the main idea is to notice that we, like, I guess the main idea is to notice that we have to, X coordinates and Y coordinates are independent here, because, so basically the problem was we have some rectangles, well, sets of four points, but form forming a rectangle, and we want to find the point on the plane so that the total distance to the closest corner of each rectangle is as small as possible. And basically, we want, so we have some rectangles like x1, xy, and then something like that, and we want to find the point x, y, so the sum of, well, the closest point, and so the distance, distance is, is Manhattan distance, so we want to find something like this, so we, we can actually write the goal function like this, uh, minimum of the distance here, plus minimum of the distance here. Yeah. This this formula describes the distance to the closest corner of the rectangle. And so we just separate this problem into two and solve it for solve it for x and y separately. And then and then you can do it in n log n time and it's two times ten to five. You can do it in n log n time if you just sort all the like events. If you like, uh, yeah. Also, I guess paint is my friend. Do you like paint also? Hopefully. So basically, if you just uh, this is x, let's say, and we have some x one here, and we have some x two here. Uh, what is the function of uh, how many, like how much, like the function of distance from x. And the function is easy, so it's like just like this, 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 and this. And so we have some points. Here is x1 plus x2 over 2. And we have just three important points where the diff distance changed, and between these, those points it's linear, so we just have to add all these function functions of this form, like piecewise linear functions. We just add them all, we just sort the events. The event is some function changes, so we, it's not linear anymore, but it's still piecewise linear, so we just find all the pieces, and then we just find the minimum. So, something like that. And that was A, and then the, the yeah, G, GPA, practice, whatever. And the, the last problem was problem D, the problem which we did not discuss today. Paint is definitely gorgeous, just like Notepad. I can second this totally. Mm. Yeah, so basically, this is like, this is like my approach is kind of standard square root decomposition. So I split all the, like, the main idea is standard st square root decomposition. So you just split the array into blocks of square root size. And then when you have some kind of a query, you just you just f f see that we have some blocks included fully, and then we have some prefix of a block, some suffix or suffix of the block, and then uh, for the prefix and the suffix, we just do it naively. So we just 
traverse all the elements in the prefix, traverse all the elements in the suffix. But inside the block, we want to answer the queries quickly. And that's what we do for both types of queries. And the question is, how do we quickly, like if we have a block and we do some operations, like add something to the first element, like in this block several times, and then we interleave that with queries, like what is the minimum of the maximum? Uh, basically, yeah, for those who don't know the problem, so the problem was something like, we have an array A, A. Um, so we have some pairs A, I, B, I. So we have queries like the first type of query is we add X to all elements. And the second type of query is uh, max the maximum of for uh, i from l to r of maximum of a i b i. Yeah, so so basically we have a like we have some elements in the block and we want to be able to quickly add a value to all the elements in the block and then find the minimum of the maximums. And the way to do it is to realize, again, it's similar to problem A. So here I, I drew a picture. So it's a graph of distance from x. And here I want to do something like that. I will also do a graph. Uh, it will be like this. And the uh, x-axis is uh, some kind of delta, which is the value which we add to all elements in, like to all A elements in the block. And the uh, value is for each index separately, the value is maximum of a i b i. And I claim that like for each value separately, the graph looks like this. And this this point is just b i. And this point is this point is uh, <laughs> bi minus ai. And the idea is that when we add this value, bi minus ai, then we have a equal to b for this pair. And then for smaller values that we add to a, the maximum is just equal to bi. And for larger values that we add, the value is increasing by one, just like this. And uh, this is one graph with the, that we have, but remember that we want to find the minimum. So this is the, what, I, what I drew was maximum of a i b i, and that's what we have for every i. And now, the other thing to remember is that we want to have the minimum. And the thing is, let's draw the graphs like this for all points that we have, for all pairs. So you can have, uh, let's say, this. And let's say we have some this. Uh, okay. And we want to find the minimum. And the minimum of, like, we want to find the lowest hull of these graphs. And unfortunately, it's not convex. So in this case, it looks like this. That's what we have. And basically, we want to find, for, for delta, we want to be able to answer quickly, like in, in logarithm time, maybe, what is the y-coordinate of the minimum of these graphs. And yeah, basically that's it. The question is how do we build this graph? And it's not super hard, so we just take all the points, we sort them from left to right, and then we do something like convex hull as usual. It's not convex hull, but the idea is the same. The concept is the same. We just go from, for all points from left to right, and then if this point, for example, we have this point first, and then we have this point, and the second graph just covers the first graph totally, so we just remove the first one from our answer. 
and then the third one does not cover the second one, but it just completes it. So we maintain both in our stack. So it's the so it's the same as convex hull basically. And then we just remember all the cut points of this graph, and we can do just binary search to find the actual y coordinate at some x coordinate. So roughly this is what I have. So this is what this is I built all the points. I sort them and do stack here. This is just the stack, convex hull style. And then to answer the query, I just for each block, I just do binary search on this stack to find the closest two cut points. Yep. Okay, so that, that's about the problems of today. I hope I cleared up some doubts, if you had any. I guess I should take a look at the chat. Uh, yep. Why always C++? Uh, yeah, I, I, I just put the chat in, in a random place. A C++, um, well, it's, <laughs> the thing is that most problems are just built with only C++ in mind, because it's just the f like the fastest one. Well, as assembler must be faster, but it's hard to write good code in assembler, at least fast code. So C++ is like, high level and also fast, maybe the fastest out there. And the time limit problem is a bit more worrying in other languages usually. And that's a bit unfortunate. And I think that many people just, when they set the problems, set their, pro their own problems, they only write their solution in C++ and they just say, okay, so my solution works in uh, one and a half seconds. Okay, let's make the time limit of three seconds or something like that. And I think that's like a common way of setting problems for many people. And I think it's very unfortunate. I don't like that at all. But I, I think that the time limit should be much more generous in general. But I guess it's different. But I used Pascal in my high school and I liked it a lot actually. But then I one thing is that it is not developing at all, I guess, but maybe it is, but it's kind of dead now. And then the other thing was that I was going to take part in uh, ICPCs and ICPC was removing Pascal from the world finals about the time I was moving to the university. So I had to learn C++ and use it now, but I guess it's fine for me. Um, Am I allowed to read chat during contests? Probably not. I mean, I'm not reading it during the contests. So yeah, I don't interact with the chat during the contest. Uh, and sorry about that. Uh, choking, no. Luckily, not cho not choking. Uh, the problems are in Russian. Yes, I use Google Translate. Translation is not super good, but actually, I, I liked it. Actually, I I think it was fine. But some problems were not so great. But it's doable. I I will continue reading problems in English. I think it's fine. Uh, streaming. Yeah, I'm going to make at least five streams for this series. So this was the first one. And four more to go. And the schedule can be found in the Code Forces announcement. Actually, I'm not sure if it, it, it's the tentative schedule, but anyway. Yeah, that was intense in the end. I, I use Form Manager, right? Is it better than Sublime? Again, I haven't used Sublime, Sublime, so I can't tell. But I like what I can do with Form Manager, so it's fine. Yeah, last second. 
Nice. Uh, yeah, actually when Eldar solved problem D quickly, I thought it could be some kind of segment tree. The clever one, but yeah, it's fine. Mm hmm Also. Yeah, okay. How did I practice competitive programming when, when I was at high school? Basically, it's not much different. I guess you just, you know, practice in solving problems and then in general uh, you get better. That's definitely going to be true. How is this one? Blind at 41 minutes. I think it was not blind, by the way. This looks weird. How did I celebrate my Google Code Jam win? I had some fine food and a cake. That's how I do it. Yeah, I guess I was supposed to say that I threw a big party for all the like the friends and the finalists and stuff also one way to do it but I don't approve of parties at our times you know so I wouldn't do that okay uh, what resources do I suggest to learn data structures and algorithms not for competitive programming, just in general. Well, one thing obviously is that competitive programming is a great way to learn algorithms and data structures. So, why why not? I mean, <laughs> there are a lot of great materials in like code forces and in general. all capacity programming resources, not just code forces. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I'm not sure actually. So so uh yeah I, I'm not sure I can just suggest any one resource which like covers all the algorithms like for example you can just like well i mean i mean not not like you can just but in general if you study some algorithms course you learn a lot of algorithms obviously and so universities for example are not that useless in, in this matter i think and i i suppose there must be some online courses, but I, I have never passed those in algorithms because I already knew most stuff when I when they appeared, right? Okay, that's kind of what I can say about it. Mm. My solution looks slightly overcomplicated, I guess, to problem D. Basically, I need to find the smallest AI for BI minus AI more than X and smallest BI for bi minus ai less than or equal to x okay so i, I guess it yeah okay i mean it's okay it's kind of the same but a bit different right so so we we can sort all the points by bi minus ai and then we want to find the smallest ai in suffix and smallest bi in prefix yes yeah it's a bit simpler i agree i agree but i i think that in general the code it's probably almost the same, actually. The difference is that I throw away points which are not correct, which are not important. I sort all the points and throw away some points. But, you know. Uh, Ejoy selection in two days. Do I have some cool advice? Uh, yes. Have a rest before the contest. 
I, you won't be able to improve easily in two days. So just take a rest, relax, maybe take some, go to some fresh air. But, you know, I think that would be my advice. Uh, am I better at ri reading Russian or English? Um, yeah, Russian, of course. Or also Russian... Uh, yeah, the statements are in Russian. So English statements are not really English sometimes. But, yeah, obviously Russian is more profitable for me. But, you know, for you guys, I'm reading statements in English this time. And I'm going to continue that. Hopefully that makes the stream more <laughs> inclusive, I'd say. And yeah, Russian is the one of the two national languages in Belarus. So yeah, most people speak both Russian and Belarusian. Uh, how did I get so fast at coding and typing? Well, typing, I mean, I, I, I think that it's kind of, well, you know, practice, it's kind of something like that. I, I even didn't even take any, like, typing courses. I know that some people just, like, do the typing courses because if you actually can do blind type, like, type, touch typing with 10 fingers, it should be great. Mm, probably helpful. I mean, code, codes have some specifics. You have to type a lot of uh, like brackets, commas, dots. So it's not the same as typing English text, but still. I think that I don't use all 10 fingers, but just with practice, like all the neurons in my brain connected. So I would expect I use at least eight of them regularly. So it's good enough. I know, I know only Russian, Belarusian, and English, so not too many real languages. Uh, do I absolve? Yes, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I saw that topic at Code Force. I, I don't do that often, but I've done lots of... I, I think that absolving is... The, like, <laughs> you know, some I, I did that video for ICPC which said, like, some advice like never absolve and don't like do other useful stuff so definitely that was a joke hopefully not many people got baited um, but yeah definitely should absolve mm. and I did a lot of absolving in the early years it's just super important a lot of Times you have a problem which you cannot solve, and if you just solve it afterwards, it means that you will be able to solve a similar problem later. And often, if you don't absolve, and then you see a similar problem, it's like it's like one of the worst feelings. You had a problem, you didn't solve it during the contest, and you didn't learn the solution, didn't think about it at all later, and then you encounter a, like the same problem later, like or just a similar one. Probably not the same. The same is unlikely, but you know. And then you realize you don't know the solution and it's really bad. I I, I, I don't I, I had some kind of dead feelings and I don't like it. So, yeah. Uh, what's that? Uh, grave Cape where, okay, you solve problems on some Twitch in Korean. Okay, that, that, that's actually cool. Do you stream re regularly? And do you have... So you have only, only Korean viewers, I suppose. How often do you stream? And maybe how many viewers do you have, if you don't mind to say? Uh, hey Andrew, yes, I did the during using square root, right? Uh, I I don't know if there is any log 
poly lock solutions. Yeah, I don't know any. But I, I just hated it. I, 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 I was struggling a lot with this problem. Okay, so, so you don't know the solution with segment 3 bits, right? So it's not doable. Oh, hi, Peter. <laughs> hi there. Nice to see you. What's the probability of the same problem appear again? Yeah, definitely. But similar problems do appear. Uh, what's my v WPM? I think we did some kind of a test on stream half a year ago, and it was a bit above 100. Mm, 110, 120, I'm not sure. I guess you can check some of the bots, but they are long, but anyway, it was in the beginning of some stream. Uh, for contest of types, three hours, four tasks of 10 points, which is each, is each, is it better to try to get one or two points to try full solution? I think it's, um, I don't think there's any universal answer. So in general, one point when we did uh, high school Olympiads was that you don't want to get zero at any problem because usually getting like one, two, I know, so if it's 10 points, right? Okay, so getting one, two, three, whatever points on each problem should be easy. So generally the problems are set in a way that getting some points is easy and you just don't spend too much time, but you can get them. And usually it's easier than get some full solution. So maybe one thing is try to get some points on each problem first and then try to solve the problems in full later. But you should not get too stuck on just getting some partial points and in some cases, you should just go for the full solution straight away if there is, if you feel like you can do it in full, sure. Okay. Uh, is Jamaica on my visiting list? Not yet, and I, mm, I can't say anything is on my visiting list right now. Hopefully, sooner or, la sooner or later, you know. Uh, 10 to 30 mostly Korean. Okay, yeah, cool. Cool. That's good. I, I think that English streams are definitely more <laughs> inclusive, but local streams are also important for sure. Maybe I can do some uh... <laughs> Okay. I'm surprised that F has no solves. Yeah, I mean, I just liked it a lot. Like, I, I just ignored it. I re read the problem and then I just, I don't know. I had no ideas, actually. Actually, it's not, not hard, right? Somehow, I, 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 was just, I just blanked out. But maybe I didn't just think too long about it. Uh, yeah, hopefully I, I will stop by your stream, Grave K pair. Not sure how you pronounced your nickname, though. Yeah, zero ideas. Thank you, Igor. <laughs> Try typing faster next time. Such a troll. WPM, probably. Uh, yeah. Start from convex hull and to insert a point between two adjacent points and the extra. And by the extra, I guess you. The extra, I guess, is you mean just priority queue stuff, right? Okay. Uh, L R N Q. You're definitely allowed to be watching the stream, and you're also allowed to type into the chat. Don't worry about that. Oh, I was submitting late on Google Code Jam. Well, just to troll everyone, right? That's how you do it, just troll. I don't know, actually, I mean, if I have a problem and... But basically, my general idea is that... 
I don't need to submit, right? There, there's no need to submit. If I'm pretty sure in my solution, I don't have to submit the solution to check it. And then if I'm sure that I'm going to get some more, like I'm 100% sure I'm going to get some more points on other problems, then I don't have to submit the problems I already have. That's basically the main point. So it's a bit different from what, well, it's kind of the same still. So I still don't rush into typing them easy problems. For example, I saw that problem A was solved in like 13 minutes, 17 minutes, I'm not sure. But I just read all the problems first, and then like I had the idea to solve how to solve problem A, but I did not rush into typing it because like there was no there was no need because I wasn't going to win just by solving problem A, so I just thought about all the problems. Yeah, thanks Nias for linking the blog post. It's a bit I, I'm not sure if it's outdated. Probably not, but. I wrote it quite some time ago, three years ago, right? Okay, yeah, so it describes my general cycle of solving problems where when the penalty time is the time of the last submission, not the total. And I think it just, it just feels better for me. And yeah. Uh, what was my impression of the World Finals problems this year? I liked... I liked them, yeah. I, I think they were nice. I, I can't say... Probably not, like... Among all the finals, I would say that the finals of Code Jam are generally very good. I think that I enjoyed all of them. That would not, would not lie. And this particular one had some nice problems, so... Problem A was, well, easy, and also it was, well, A was probably maybe not the nicest, and then B was, what was, oh, B was some game. Yeah, it was fun. I actually solved it on paper with some polynomial time algorithm, but it took me a lot of reasoning. And then C was fun and also not standard. D was geometry, so I, I was just aiming at the small subtask, which was easy. And E was a very nice problem, I think. So in general, like, I can't say anything bad about any problems. Maybe A was the most boring one, but I just liked most of them. Am I making a comeback for number one at Code Forces? Definitely, definitely. Especially if they fix rating formulas and they don't get like negative 200-ish changes for one failed system test, you know? Which I, I think it just is just ridiculous. But yeah. Yeah, local streams are maybe coming, but we haven't planned anything yet. Andrew answered that, but yeah. Definitely going to happen at some point. Uh, half a year, wait, yeah. Uh, e, today's round E, what was our oh, code for? So today was the code forces. Let's see. Yeah, division two, okay. Oh, nice. Okay. We'll ping you for sure, Peter. Good to know. Mm, I'm not sure what GR10 is. I know GR8, it's great, but GR10? Oh, global round 10, okay. <laughs> uh, It, should, it is not supposed to have a delay. I, I'm just reading. I hope you ask about the stream. Yeah, I'm just reading the questions, not quickly. Uh, global round 10. Yeah, they, they were nice. I, I like them. I think. 
it was a decent one for sure gr stands for your name if that's your name then yes um problem e today let's take a look at list uh, there is a square you're going to draw segments on the plane all segments are either horizontal or vertical and intersect with at least one side of the square and they want to one I am, I'm not wondering that <laughs> why why would they wonder that no 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 it's a mistake <laughs> I should not be wondering that at all okay <laughs> well I kind of I'm kind of joking but uh, okay so I guess the solution should be easy in the sense of idea so it's definitely Euler's formula <clears throat> you find the number of vertices and the number of edges in this graph and you can get the number of faces that way and how do you find the vertices and edges? So I draw segments inside the square. All segments, no two segments on the same line. Okay. So I kind of want to find the number of intersections. And that's going to be it, probably. If I have some intersection, then oh, also we can have segments which go from left to right. That's not good. But anyway, if you have some intersection, then we have a vertex and two edges, right? So is the answer something like the total number of intersections plus the number of segments which go all the way from left to right or from top to bottom plus one plus two plus two I guess no plus one should be right yeah plus one yeah plus one right okay and then the number of intersection is same something like uh well, sweep line, some Fenwick tree or segment tree, right? I guess you cannot do it in a simpler way. Well, I mean, it's not too bad, but it's kind of educational round problem, but it's fine, I think. Division 2 is kind of educational anyway. I guess even if even in division one round it would not be too bad to have this problem. I, I don't think it's awful. Uh, problem B. Lul Lul kind of says that. Well, okay, let's try. But B should be easy, right? number of elements mm. what okay constructive forces and yeah, that's a joke anyway yeah but I, I'm not sure like this is this is kind of mess, but math not mess, right? But this problem is not like this problem is more implementation ones. So, uh, the balance I think should be fine. Usually, it was a, okay. 
But I guess I can solve A. Oh, it was a joke. Fine, fine, fine. It's fine. I can still take a look. Yeah, I guess A should be easy. And B is kind of... Yeah. I guess should use 2 and 1 and then minimize the rest. Yeah, whatever. And F is some what? Why? Reverse each subarray, swap subarrays. Wow, okay. It reminds me of problem D of Snark New Series round. Not definitely not great. But yeah, maybe it's interesting, but I, I generally don't like this problem such problems. Uh yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh Why Mifafa Ovo isn't doing much contests? Yeah, maybe someone can answer if anyone knows. But obviously, he is just afraid of losing racing, right? No other reasons. Just, just got lucky a couple of times, won a couple of contests, and now he just just doesn't want to lose rating because he knows he will lose rating, right? Obviously. Will I do all streams with the same camera angle? Uh, why? Maybe? Should I? Should I change it? Should I change the angle? I think this one is better. You know, I had, a, I had this one before. So I, ha I have this one. Do you like this one better? Maybe this is better, right? Do you want to see my finger? fingers? Okay, this one should be better. How to... S should I include both? Finger cam, you know? Yeah. Face cam and finger cam. Am I skipping lockout turn because I'm not rushing into a match with you? Uh, maybe. Yeah, probably. Dog cam, cat cam, yeah. Once I have a dog or a cat, definitely should do that. Hand cam for anti-cheating, but you know, I guess it's not enough. Also, you know, like I have headphones, definitely someone is just telling me the solutions. So how can you prevent that? I, 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 sh I should put them off, right? And then maybe someone is standing over there and hinting me. That's another, another time. Uh, to how to spin the pen, I guess you can just find the, the videos. <laughs> Google knows better. Uh, local attorney, I don't know, I can do that, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, also, also there was a, prob a question, which type of problems do I like? Uh, well, in general, I may be lazy to implement something hard, so I guess I prefer the problems, like m problems which have less implementation and more thinking. Implementation is not too bad in general, but some implementation problems are annoying. Um, so if I had to pick one type, I'm not sure. Combinatorics is fun sometimes, though sometimes the, the harder problems might be 
a bit out of the scope of my knowledge and reach, but anyway. Uh, and yeah, for example, I think that I prefer problem E, like I would even prefer problem E to problem B in this context because I think B is kind of straightforward do what you're said, like you have to consider some cases, but it's not like you have to unfold some problem. It looks like straightforward. But E takes some idea at least, so I think it's fine. At least they, also problems which, there are problems which uh, have maybe straightforward ideas how to solve them, but they need, you need to think how to implement. That's a bit of a different type. Not many problems are like that, but this type is also fine, I think. I, I don't have anything against that. So in this problem, for example, you have to think how to implement, like, in general, the idea is that you have to count vertices and edges, okay? And then the question is, how do you count them? And there, for sure, there are some easy and difficult ways to do that. And uh, you can think some more time like spend more time on thinking and then find an easier way. And that's also fine. Uh, can sound quality be better in next streams? I I'm not sure. Um, I don't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. But for now, probably we'll have to handle this. Uh, unfortunately, there is no video of me doing code gem finals, but yeah, I, I would love to have one, but eventually I decided against recording it. Just because like 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 now well, well probably recording is not it's fine, it's easier than streaming, but you see how my computer was lagging during the last minutes of the contest. So I was a bit worrying. Uh, for given two strings. This problem is not... What is the source of this problem? This could be a problem from running contest. I would not solve it, sorry. Okay. Mm. Yeah, my, my, my research is not going well. I guess uh, I should just turn to full-time streaming instead. And now I'm doing the first step towards it. And yeah, I'm, I'm a PhD student right now. But yeah, maybe I should just do full-time streaming. What do you think? Should we have a poll? You know, um, how do I solve landslide from global round 10? I did not, yeah, unfortunately, I, 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 could, I didn't figure out the intended solution and I didn't notice the constraint that the initial heights are different. So in this problem, I had, I did not see, see that this is, the strict inequality, and that made the problem harder. And then what I did was, uh, then what I did was uh, just do, I think it was described in some blog post at Code Forces, and my solution was kind of the same. I'm not sure if you can find it, but anyway, there's still a solution, but it's just much harder. So we kind of try to uh, just simulate the process. You just go from left to right and you increase the hills one by one. And for each hill you try to distribute the process, like you try to simulate the process of distributing the height between the, diff the other ones and you try to do it quickly. Uh, did I make little bread cubes with my fingers when I was a child? Yeah, I think so. I think I did. Okay. I guess 
it should be time to take a break. I think it's enough for today. Uh, we did well. We, you're welcome. You, we did well, even though I solved the last problem half an hour late, er, later than Ildar. I could, you know, snatch a victory with blind submission, which I usually don't use. But yeah, so n n not not a great way of doing that. Not 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 the most fair one, but I guess it's fine. <laughs> Should be fine. Mm. But yeah. It feels good enough to take first place on stream as well. Because uh, on stream definitely I I am distracted a bit more. And this time I was not just not only reading statements in English, I was also trying to explain what I'm thinking about. I'm not sure. Did anyone follow what I was talking about? Because, like, it was just kind of talking to myself anyway. But for some problems, I, I was kind of explaining something. It also takes some of my energy, but I guess it's fine. Also in English, it's not, it's not obvious. But yeah, so we have full time streaming one, two, three, yeah, okay. Definitely, we'll consider. Yep, ITMO, correct. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. Mm. Actually, I wonder is Grave K pair streaming? Maybe he, he, he or she, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I'm not actually used to raiding. I have never raided anyone, but maybe there's someone. What do you think? I don't. I just think people do solving problems on stream. Okay, so my stream is number seven in science and technology right now. Okay, not too bad. Uh, okay, no stream today, sure. <laughs> Let me know when you have a stream, and then I will definitely radio. Uh, chess. <laughs> Talking during solving was nice. I am twenty five. How much time I spend? Not well, kind of whatever I, I feel fit. I don't practice for anything, any like seriously, but I do some contests from time to time. I should put programming as tech next time, okay? Uh, yeah, sure. Is there any like sport programming or competitive programming tag? I guess that would also be a fit. Mm. Okay. Oops. What else? Uh, can I save this on Twitch? Uh, I think that Twitch saves votes only for some limited amount of time, but I will definitely save it for YouTube. So it will be on my YouTube channel. Um. Chess is 32k viewers. Oh, poke champs. No. Not sure. Okay, I will definitely rate someone doing problem solving 
next time. Hopefully, we'll have more people doing that. I will post it on YouTube whenever it's ready. I will just... Uh, it's not instantly processed, so it takes time for YouTube to process the video, and then it will be posted later. Uh, okay, I will put the programming tag next time. Okay, whatever. So, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. The next one is going to be in four days from now. Uh, the schedule is definitely... Well, the schedule is basically on this website, which is in Russian. It can be found in the description below. Uh, and so the next round ends in four days from now. So in four days from now, the same place, same stream, be sure to come. And goodbye. Thanks for watching. See you later.